The Be Wet program at HIMB is one of several uh, education programs that we have that are all designed um, in large part to try to attract more of our kids from Hawaii uh, to pursue natural sciences at UH or elsewhere in, in the states or the world. The Be Wet program teaches juniors and seniors in high school about environmental stewardship and different ways to quantify the environment in which they live and it makes them better stewards to understand both scientific techniques and the natural history and biota of this area. Shockingly low numbers of kids from Hawaii who are actually entering into the ocean sciences as at the undergraduate level and then subsequently at the career level. So we really hope to draw these kids in by building programs like this. The, the kids in this program come from a variety of different schools. We're trying to get these kids exposure to marine science and environmental science and trying to target kids that might not normally enter into these kinds of programs on their own. And the idea was not to get the students that were necessarily the best academically, but the ones that seemed to have the most interest in the environment and in the ocean, and, and kind of use the, the ocean and the environment uh, as a hook to bring them yeah, into the science classroom and get them interested in science in general. It's really a new experience for me because I really don't go to the beach a lot, so when I was out there, I got to experience what the life of maybe a marine biologist would be doing out there and examining the coral. And I really don't know anyone like that, so it's actually fun to live a different life for once. I guess when you like come out here to Coconut Island and you do the experiments yourself, it, um, it makes like the environment seem much more important to people, you know, because in the classroom you feel kind of set apart from it, like it doesn't really matter as much and it's not really as important, you know, you just learn at it from a distance. But when you come out here and do it yourself, you realize how humans are directly affected by what goes into our streams, the coral reefs. The opportunity to, have, to participate in hands-on learning, like actually getting in the water and doing these things themselves, I think is um, very important to get these kids excited about the opportunities and the possibilities. It also gives them the opportunity to experience their own environments, their own backyards where they grew up uh, and care about because it's part of their home. Actually able to come out and do stuff that's hands-on it allows you to learn so much more because you can sit in a classroom and they can talk to you about all the benefits of a coral reef and um, all the animals that are directly affected by what happens to the coral reef. But until you actually go out and you see all the animals, it's hard to put it into perspective. The idea is to give them a sense of uh, not just watershed management or coral reef management, but how they're both connected. So looking at things from ridge to reef, uh, taking kind of an ahupua'a perspective and the, and the focus was going to be largely on, on the, the impacts to the coral, the coral reefs and those kinds of things. The kids are in the water today practicing underwater transects which is the way to measure reef diversity by laying out a 25 meter long tape which is the transect line and laying a quadrat which is a grid uh, that they measure different species um, on the reef with. So you lay the grid down on the reef and you see what species of coral is under the grid, um, sponges, invertebrates, algae, whatever might be there. It's a way to quantify the diversity on the coral reef. Uh, today we got to do coral reef surveying and that's super cool because that's one of the um, different kind of careers that you can go into in like marine biology. And so, I don't know, I'm really looking into the marine biology, you know, hands-on career. So get in the water and do your stuff that day, so that looks cool. They are in a college level class for high school students. And then when they're done with all this stuff, then they get an opportunity to apply what they've learned in defining a research project. So we will have them working in groups, ask a question, a question that has an environmental focus, then they have to figure out how to answer that question uh, by conducting uh, research. And they, they go out and do that, they collect their data, analyze their data, they'll write up a formal report from that, and at the, at the end of the program we, we cap it off with a, a symposium where the students present their work and uh, it's really really kind of cool. It's, I guess it's raised like more interest in me about marine biology and just more about the ocean and the environment so not only the sea but also like the mountains and the streams and stuff so it has made me much more interested and of course you know marine biology is a possible occupation in the future so that's what this is kind of done for me.